Kurt and I are back on the road. The boys are back. We're gonna head to Kansas today. What are we doing in Kansas? We have the same shirt on almost. It's the, the it's Blue the, Brothers. Uh, it's the uniform. The Blues <laughs> Brothers. It's the uniform. What, Kurt, what are we doing uh, in Kansas? We're gonna go uh, look for some uh, indigenous Kansas uh, shots. Preferably some wheat harvest shots, 103 degrees down in Kansas. Gonna load up on water and Gatorade, sun shirts, big hats, and uh, umbrellas. Sounds good, let's do it. Let's go. Kurt and I are, where are we at? We're in, we just got through Beatrice, Nebraska. Yep, heading we got, south. We both got some sweet shades on. We're, we're, uh, we're screaming for the border. And we're going, yeah, we're getting to the Kansas border and the sky looks amazing. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about how all we can do, we can't hope for a great sky, we can't expect a great sky or a great sunset, but we can put ourselves in a position where that might happen. And even if it doesn't, there's always something to shoot. There's always something to shoot. Yep. If, the, if the sky isn't right, then shoot something tight. And if you're not there, you can't shoot it. Right. So you gotta, you gotta just take the chance. You gotta be there. Get yeah. in the car and go. Yep. And who cares about the weather? You know, you gotta go. You gotta go. So we're still, we're hoping for a great sky, but we're also like gonna get some great shots no matter what. There was this one time in Chimney Rock, Nebraska, yeah. <laughs> that that looked like this and became most beautiful thing in the world I'll so, put a, I'll put a link to the video if you don't know what he's talking about all right let's let's keep going Kurt I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about clearly <laughs> we got the first little stop of the day we have a little bit of wheat a nice blue sky with some gray clouds and then we also have this uh, really cool rural church down a road so we got a couple good things to shoot gotta stop gotta do it Oh yeah. I'm gonna get rid of this right now, real quick. Oh, Your car's very uh, dusty. No, it's very clean. Did you get it washed? Uh, yeah, I cleaned it from uh, from my trip from North Carolina, and uh, there was like lots of bugs. <laughs> Occupational hazard. Kurt, what are you doing? Um, trying to do a little uh, crazy uh, art here. Got a got a 16 millimeter here. Getting some tight shots of these um, wheat things with that cool sky in the background. And trying to keep the horizon level. Are you ultra wide? Ultra wide, 16. There's one of these guys, see this guy right here? That's kind of where I'm focusing right now. Where at? Show us again. Right here? Yeah. This one here. And then I got the whole field behind it and this beautiful sky going. It's just nothing behind it. You can't see any cars, you can't see any trucks. It's just Got a good start, Kurt? Good. You know, just crossing the Nebraska-Kansas line, we get into a wheat field, and I can use my macro, I can use my 100 to 400, and I can use my 1600 because of the sky and the clouds. So, this would be off to a good start. You know, we got, we got something that really makes sense. And boy, I love getting out of the chute with something at least um, that we can use. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, first thing. Get into Kansas, we're like 10 feet into Kansas and bang, there we are. Boom. So I'm hoping that this is a good omen. Heading right into Kansas. Check this out.
We are in Maryville, Marysville or Maryville? Marysville. Marysville, Kansas. Little town, very cool. We're not, we've seen so many things to stop at and take pictures, but we're, we haven't done it because we got to get to Wichita. And that's going to be our home base from there and then get out then and all spread bets out. Are off. Then it's, then all it's crazy time. Off. But we still love going through these small towns and we would take little, look at that, look at that little town square or uh, Main Street. Um, we still love getting off the main highways, you know, 80 and some of the big ones and getting through these places because you find so many cool things. This is the only way to see and experience anything. You don't see it, you don't experience it when you're on the interstate. Yeah, granted, you get there fast, but there's so much of this um, Americana that is just, you know, doesn't always exist and is probably deteriorating every day or there are people moving out or they're tearing stuff down or whatever. You know, it's, it's part of our history. This is a really nice little town. Stop number two. Stop number two. We, we might have some wheat fields. We might have a harvester or that guy, we're looking to see where he's going. We don't know where he's going. We're, we're stalking a farmer driving down a dirt road because we're looking for somebody to harvest some wheat. And it looks, because I'm a city boy, I'm not sure if it's a harvest thing or not, but we're gonna watch and see <laughs> we, where he goes. It's a har it's a harvest thing. Yeah. Is he coming this way? Yeah, all right, he's coming this way. I gotta, yeah. We gotta get out of the way. Uh-oh, yeah, gotta go. Oops, sorry. Are we in the way? We stopped the farmer there. He was very, very kind, very, very insightful. Not today, no harvesting today because no. the weather, uh, humidity affects it and also it's been raining. So they won't harvest today, maybe not tomorrow. So it might in have to be- In all of Kansas? Well, anywhere in this area. Okay, he so said, we you need might, to go- You might find something a little bit, you know, if, if you go a little bit farther south, but he said it, they won't harvest anything today. So- All right, so we're screwed. Maybe, maybe not tomorrow. Okay, yeah. so we learned that humidity is not great for harvesting wheat. Nor is rain. Damn it. Yeah. Can but we, this is pretty. Yeah, we got something. Hey, we're going to get something here. You know. That's, that's beautiful. All right. All right, we're just going to get this for now then, and uh, we'll go with that. Yep. What know, are you gonna, how are you going to shoot this, Kurt? What are you going to do here with this Well, thing? I was thinking about something really, really wide because I like the sky and get a nice lot of depth of field. There's not a whole lot of stuff in the background either, you know, like farms and buildings and stuff like that. So probably I might shoot a little bit of wide, then I might take out the 100 to 400 and compress some stuff and a get little some, bit. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's the plan, let's All do right. it. You know, somebody uh, hands you lemons, make lemonade. Let's make it happen, Kurt. Yeah, we're gonna try. Damn. We shot a little bit of the country road there, but Kurt and I are in a fit of depression <laughs> because of the farmers, uh, the news of the no harvest. Yeah, we got to, uh, got a little bit of a monkey wrench, but uh, driving around, we're gonna kind of do a little scouting and maybe find something else that we can throw into the, the Kansas mix. And, um, you know, never ever say die. These roads are cool though. They're, they, these roads are pretty sweet. And yeah. uh, the clouds look amazing. So we still got some good shots to get and we're gonna get them. Right, exactly.
we we have we have sad news to report. We are headed back home. And the reason why is because we looked at the weather map a little late to the adventure, like a little late. Just a little. Well, we had a little bit more knowledge when we got down and talked to a local who knew all about what we were after. And he said <clears throat> the wheat harvest won't happen today because it rained. And we looked at the weather, and it is going to rain everywhere that we need to go to try to find these images. So, the Brain Trust got together, and we said, well, we can spend the night here and still not get shots because it's going to be too wet for them to harvest. But we can cut and run, cut our losses, go back. And if you're going to be a nature photographer, just always remember, Mother Nature has the upper hand, and some days you're the hammer, and some days you're the nail. We are getting nailed to the cross. That's today. all right. <laughs> we are going to go and try next week, so we are hoping to get better luck. And uh, but you know what? Today was still a lot of fun. It was good to hang out and get some good photos. Always, always the best guy in the world to take a road trip. Kurt Johnson's a legend. Check out his <laughs> website. This dude's amazing. So we'll uh, back we'll, at you, brother. We'll we'll give it a shot next week, right? Damn right. Yeah, we not be denied. Guy. All right. We'll see you guys.